Welcome to the Sunshine Coast. I have been up here for the last six days working very closely with my coach Ray Boyd to try and knuckle down some stuff in pole vault. What we've managed to do so far is 77 jumps this week as opposed to the usual average of 16 to 20 and by the end of the session I'm sure we're going to be over 100 jumps. So we've done probably five weeks worth of pole vault in one week and usually I come up every fortnight to see Ray um, but it's been awesome to just have him here for every single session and just continue working on, on everything that we're working on. The big changes we've made this week is we've jumped on some five meter poles for the very first time ever. Usually I'm on four meter 90 poles and that extra bit of distance just changes where the bend is. So it feels a little bit different, but the advantage is I get to just grip higher and higher and higher. And you know, just, just gripping 10 centimeters higher um, can really help me at the top of the jump as well, if we can nail it. So um, we are jumping on five meter poles now and we actually pushed my run up back from 12 steps to 14 steps, which I never thought I would do as a decathlete, but we tried it on Tuesday, we did it again yesterday, and it felt really comfortable. So two major changes to my pole vault this week, and we think we're gonna run with them and use them at the World Championships and the Commonwealth Games. Not too bad. All right, let's put a bar up at um, 4.50. Righto. You've got to go harder through there. It's faster and harder. Yeah, okay. And that all comes from here. All right? It's Remember, it's the high bar. Boom. So there's your takeoff, it's just off the ground, right? That's the next frame. And she's got to go now. Okay. So it allows you getting a bit of a distance. Otherwise you have nothing else. Drop your hand hold one hand on that pole. Bring your run up in 10 centimetres. Same thing again, that's good. get into this position and it's like the high bar. All right, boom, 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 boom. So you're hitting, going, and, you, and your sweeping leg comes through and keep, continues. So that's what we want. Just stay on the pole. Yeah. Just cuddle the pole. Okay. Well, yeah, go on, keep thinking. Think about it. I think it was better. <laughs> I think it was better. So do I. I, I. I thought the shoulders just got under just a little bit more. Yeah. And I know because I, I can feel when it just drops me off. When, yeah. When the shoulders are back and the hips are up and the pole straightens and just drags me down. But that, it just felt like I got there a little bit better. Well, you've done it again. You saved the best to last. I hope the video reflects what I felt. So do I, we've talked it up, haven't we? <laughs> okay. So you're in a bit closer. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Like I'm a little unsure down here. Oh, bit you've ended up with bit, the best. Well, you've ended up with the best jump yeah. and you've got yourself 20 centimetres in close and you've done all day. Yeah. What's that tell me? I have to think about that. I've, I've never coached anybody, even a, like a pole vaulter, who, who is proficient at their event, and he's getting that way, but I've never coached anybody like him that just makes every, every jump a winner. 
he, he ran through twice in 110 jumps or 109, whatever we had this four days, he ran through twice. One of them I asked him to while I got a, a takeoff foot for him when we moved him out to a longer run up. Uh, the other time, he just showed he was human. He had one run through, but he seems to be able to just make every post a winner. He's, he's a breath of fresh air to coach. He's got my juices flowing again. 109 jumps later, we have finished this pole vault specific training camp on the Sunshine Coast and I could not be more happy about how far we've come this week. I came into this week hoping to progress onto some longer poles and hoping that it would feel comfortable. And we didn't only achieve that, we also added two more steps on my run up without completely messing everything up. And we also had some really nice technical sessions where we weren't trying to jump high, but we were trying to jump well and really just try and break those habits that I've been ingraining, the bad habits that I've been ingraining in my technique for, for so many years. So it's been incredible being up here, um, having so many touch points with Ray because he is such an experienced pole vault coach and almost just stripping back everything I know about pole vault and taking in all his information, everything he's saying, accepting it and seeing the results on the other side of that. That's been uh, the most rewarding thing this week.